so here I am, just about to share to you day two of this multi-vlog episode, Meet Me at the East Coast. By the title of this video, you may already expect us finding ourselves taking a quick tour of the Louisa Me Alcott Orchard House. You see, this day is very important because we get to relive the special experience of how we get to take my sister Tessa to the place where her favorite author once lived with her family. There's just a tiny bit of a challenge there, which is we only have from 7 a.m. up until 12 noon to complete the visit. <laughs> I know, it's pretty hectic, but this is what you get when you're on a family trip in Massachusetts and you want to see as much places as you can. Now, let me take you back on this trip. Here is another day, another vlog. There is no cart. Good morning. Morning, man. Good morning. <laughs> huh? We're just gonna get the stuff. We need to just bring everything down. Okay. All right. Are they done? Of course, yeah. I'm not yet done. They yeah, are. They are. Here's Ready to go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're just gonna have to carry everything with us. Are you serious? Yeah. Thanks Marriott Fairfield, Connecticut for a nice day. Boston, we'll see you soon. Uh, What's my... up? What's up? You want to say good morning to everyone? Good morning guys. Uh, it's raining outside. I check outside, it's really cold. I want to give a shout out to Brian Landicho, he's my classmate, he's, he just subscribed yesterday as the 150th subscriber, so shout out to you, Brian. Oh, just closed. <laughs> so we're going to head to Concord, Massachusetts to go to Louisa May Alcott's uh, house, and mom's bringing her little women book because she's a fan, so we just went to the Nismith Hall of Fame yesterday, check the vlog out if you hadn't seen that one and it was good and pretty much enjoying plus uh, we even played basketball there and okay great now it's my time to get where's my break? where's my shoes i don't know my red shoes but Look, i get I, in case they haven't done it yet what should they do again in in case you have done it like and subscribe <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna see you downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
coffee. Is it any good? Mm -hmm. you like oatmeal? Good morning, everyone. Morning. What are you doing now? Please state your name, <laughs> date of birth, <laughs> favorite color. <laughs> Nathaniel, there's Nathaniel, my nephew, and my sister, Tessa, who's the looking oldest. forward, who's, my eldest sister is looking forward to <laughs> this trip today. Yes. Because she's gonna see up close the house of her favorite Louisa author. Louisa May Alcott House, day two of our <laughs> visit here in the East Coast. <laughs> and my brother-in-law, <laughs> Kuya XP. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph and mother. Do you like the breakfast? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> but, <laughs> and we are leaving soon for Concord, and our trip begins in three, two, one. We appreciate your help. What's your name? Uh, Pemmy. Hi, Pemmy. <laughs> okay, don't get that. I love it. Bye, Pemmy. Okay, it was nice to meet you. Happiness is like a butterfly, which, when perceived, is always beyond our grasp. But if you'll sit down quietly, may it light upon you. Close enough for season. Nathaniel Hawthorne. We're at Nathaniel Hawthorne's house, which is called The Wayside. Yeah, very good, babe. Very good. <laughs> Mom. Nathaniel Hawthorne came from where? It's your namesake. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's one of the American writers. That is like well known. He's a poet too. Poet, writer, right? Yeah. He's very good at compositions and everything. <laughs> and Nathaniel Hawthorne is a neighbor of one of the very famous authors that we are heading next. It's Louisa May Alcott. Louisa okay. May Alcott House. Is yes. that your favorite author? Yeah. Tessa's favorite author, and we're <laughs> heading there right now. Feel discontented, think over your blessings and be grateful. So we finally found the Louisa May Alcott Orchard House in this quiet neighborhood. That day, we booked for the first tour. You got the tickets now? Confirmation lang naman siguro. Confirmation, yeah. yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 
We're one of the earliest to get in. While waiting for the start of the tour, we first went inside the bookstore. The items on display are mostly collectibles and books celebrating the all-time classic, Little Women. If you're a big fan of the book, this is the place to be. During the start of the tour, we made our way to the hillside chapel, which happens to be right along the backyard of the family home. The structure was also used as a Concord School of Philosophy. Inside, we watched a short video detailing the life of Louisa May Alcott and important facts about her family. After which, we began the tour inside the house. Unfortunately, I have no videos to show because of film restrictions. I recall how the house's interior still has the original fixtures, paintings, and furniture. Even the toys and theater props of the siblings can still be found inside. I must say that the interior of the house remains one of the very few historic places that exists in both literary fiction and reality. Isn't it just amazing that on this desk, she unwillingly wrote the book in a 10-week flurry, drawing from her childhood experiences. Now the book remains in print since its 1868 publication. The book has been brought to life in several movie adaptations with the most notable having been released in 1994 and 2019. Yeah, we just had our tour at the Louisa May Alcott house. Louisa May Alcott is one of the famous American writers of her time. So she wrote Little Women, Joe's Boys, one of her writings. So it's Little Women is about four sisters. It's Meg, Beth, Joe, and Amy. So not in order, but she she is it's loosely based on her family life living here in the Alcott house. Yeah, and. That's her room right there, right at the top. And then on the opposite side, that's her parents' bedroom. This is the the a, father's study. The study room. This is the parlor. Up until this day, her life story in the book Little Women resonates through generations, based on how it continues to inspire both young and old alike. The appreciation of family, resilience through poverty, and to never hold back From creativity. Looking back, I just find it fascinating how Concord a town in Massachusetts would eventually find itself forever celebrated with the literary greats who once lived as neighbors and now immortalized by their writings. For my sister, it was one more trip checked off her bucket list. For us, it was another literary history we are fortunate to revisit. In the book Little Women, a quote seems to connect us to this trip and it says, I do think that families are the most beautiful things in all the world. Now off we go to Boston. <laughs>